This is about 5 in the evening, no power for the last 3 4 hours. Hey, I decided to let me have early supper. <laughs> and then my cup of ginger tea here as usual. Uh yeah, it's ginger lemon tea. And I decide to undo my hair now that there's nothing much one can do without power. Please note I am undoing my hair using my <laughs> using my torch camera torch or the phone torch imagine it is dark here and uh, since i cannot go to bed this early eh, i start undoing my hair very fast It's been long since I braided my hair and this crochet I did for myself and uh, I felt quite itchy as in I just felt like removing it every time. It was nice, it was beautiful, I was looking good in it but I kept, feel, kept feeling like I want to undo it because I, I am so used to washing my hair every day. Where? Anyway, it lasted like two and a half, no, about, about three weeks actually. So here I have finished completely and done everything. Since it's still dark, mm, I just comb it, put a kitamba on it and head to bed. <laughs> Hi guys, hi family and friends. I have a toothpick. I didn't eat meat. I haven't eaten any meat. <laughs> you know what happened? Have you ever jumped from bed and off? Kabisa, I woke up, dressed up, and ran to the market. My chicken feed was over. Very disorganized today. And there was no way I was going to just stay in the house without chicken food because they need to feed. I had very little food, I gave them and then I refilled, then had to rush. Seven, I left the house about 7.30, I was already out. The situation ship in my house, guy, uh, now I have come back, I've eaten a mango, that's what I'm removing from my because I want to have breakfast now I want to have at least I've gotten some cake I have some cake here and uh, <coughs> excuse me uh, I ate hurriedly I have some tea here so I just want to eat this, have this breakfast. Very fast. And then organize this house. Jump into the shower. I have a lot to do today. Right now, the speed is uh, yeah, 10.49, about 11. 
vagina. But I'm just thinking of what is ahead of me. I think it makes sense. What? I'm even sweating. Okay, Choto Katsa. And when I was leaving, it was very cold. I don't know why I waited for this last minute rush. I never buy my food in a rush like this. I buy before it's almost over. Today, we are back to camp. How this happened, I cannot even explain. Business. I was just lazy. And I've gotten this yesterday. This is the food I got for the chicken. It's growers mash, ten kgs, going for seven hundred shillings. Let me organize the house very, very fast. It looked this messy because it had rained for like three days consecutively, so clothes were not drying up. So that's why I had put clothes all over to make sure that they are well dried before I put them back in the wardrobe. So I was going to hospital, this is Ruaraka Uhai Naema Hospital in Kasarani. One of my friend's child was unwell and they were admitted so I was just going to check on them. I 
This is how the compound look, looks like from the entrance of the gate. So just showing me a glimpse of the hospital. It's a good hospital. I also go there for in case of anything. Sometimes. Yeah. They have a casualty, maternity, they have pediatrics, they have uh, special clinics, physiotherapy, laboratory, x-ray department, that is the radiology department. They have almost all, actually all the departments that you may need in a hospital. Matters is not a very big hospital and they, for the inpatients, they, they have very good food. So just walking in into the pediatrics ward and then after this i will go back home and see what next to do of course it will be in the evening oh my i can already hear some children crying here may god heal them Please note this inform this video is not sponsored. They are not even aware I am talking about it. I just know some little bit about it. I'm just on my way out. Uh, I have seen the patient and the mother. They are the child is doing well actually is okay now